Impact Wrestling presents Emergence, streaming live Sunday, August 27th. Eli Drake. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, Eli Drake. Eli Drake has put a lot at stake here in this one-on-one -on -one match against DC3, but as Eli Drake is letting you know right now, if he wins this match, it's well worth what he put at stake. He's got his voice on the line. If Eli Drake loses, he doesn't get to speak for the rest of the year. But if he wins, he's number one contender for the World Championship. Can Eli Drake defeat a former two-time world champion? And now, introducing his opponent from Boca Raton, Florida, 234 pounds, Ethan Carter the third, E.C. Free. He has an opportunity for the World Championship right now. But EC3 is a gambling man, and he's put that opportunity at stake here against the thorn in his side, Eli Drake. EC3 can win, he can go on to challenge for the world title, and he can shut Eli Drake up for the rest of the year. I don't know what Eli Drake was thinking. I know what EC3's intentions are. But Eli Drake, can you imagine Jay-Z or Beyonce having to go for a whole year or the rest of the year without oh. using their voice? And here we go, trading back and forth is Eli Drake and EC3. A lot of people would be thankful if Eli Drake loses this match. He doesn't get to talk for the rest of the year. I, I'm torn here. I'm a fan of the fact of life. I think that Eli Drake does a tremendous job on his talk show. He brings in riveting guests, asks the questions that everyone wants to hear the answers to. And Eli Drake is putting that at stake here for an opportunity at the World Championship against EC3. So you don't think that EC3 should have made this match? I don't necessarily think that Eli Drake should have accepted the match. Eli Drake? Eli Drake, I mean, he's giving up his voice, but he's he's putting it on the line for an opportunity at the World Championship. EC3 is potentially giving up everything. If he loses, he walks away with nothing. You're absolutely right. But e EC3 has been on a roll. He's a very confident individual right now, and I think he's just trying to kill Ooh, two birds with one stone. Back elbow there by Eli Drake. Power slam in the center of the six-sided ring. And Drake delivering more offense here to EC3. EC3, former two-time world champion. We talked about only needing a chance. That EC3 only needed an opportunity, and he took advantage of it and became number one contender for the world title in a running drop kick. By EC3. And oh, by a huge oh, oh boy! Eli Drake is down right here in front of us. EC3 is in control. Can Eli Drake get back into this one on one match? It's world title opportunity versus Eli Drake's voice, and it continues. It is Eli Drake going one on one with EC3. High stakes for both of these competitors. For EC3, he's putting his world title opportunity on the line against the voice of Eli Drake. If Eli Drake loses, he can't speak for the remainder of 2016. I asked what would happen if Eli Drake did speak, if he did talk. From what I understand, it's a massive fine if Eli Drake uses his voice. I'm sure Eli Drake don't want to come off the mighty dollar for breaking. No! Oh, Eli Drake lives in Los Angeles. He loves to flaunt his cars and money. And now he's in a world of trouble here. How annoying must the voice of Eli Drake be to EC3 <laughs> for EC3 to, you know, go to this measure? I mean, I go back to what happened almost two months ago now at Bound for Glory when EC3 came up a little bit short in his world championship quest against Lashley. The following week, he was on the Fact of Life being called a choke artist 
by Eli Drake. He was being hammered by e Eli Drake. Feel the horribleness of, of what had happened. <laughs> we all come up short. Well, you don't need your verbalness to download the Fight Network app. You can go to your Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, or Roku. The Fight Network app gives you access to your favorite impact moments, including pay-per-view events and exclusive new content like Inside Impact. Make sure to check out the Fight Network app today. And look at the strength and power of EC3. Nice counter there by Eli Drake, though. Eli Drake trying to stay one step ahead of the former champion. Nice neck breaker on the apron. Some of that confidence might have just taken out of the sales of EC3. Very smart by Eli Drake. Way to capitalize on the moment. I think the tide has just changed to the favor of Eli Drake. Get on the way. Go. Certainly the pacing that Eli Drake had won. You slow it down, take the fans out of this matchup. You can hear the voice of Eli Drake. And now look at this. Oh! A back suplex on the steel steps. Eli Drake knows this is huge. This is a big matchup. Not just for EC3, but for Eli because he can go on to keep his voice and get a world title shot. Yeah, it's uh, world title opportunities don't come along very often. I'm not sure if Eli Drake has ever challenged for the world championship. Well, I know one thing, Eli Drake very smart. He was willing to take the count out because it still propels him to victory. Now Eli, he had some time to regroup and rethink here. And Start firing away at EC3. Cover hooks the outside leg and a kick out at one. So well, that shows you where EC3 is right now in this matchup. What's Eli Drake thinking right now? Eli Drake's, Drake, Drake is thinking he has to do whatever it takes to keep the big opponent, EC3, from moving. And there's a big scalar slam by Eli Drake. Cover here, and a kick out at two. Stay on top of him now is what he, Eli Drake is doing. He understands that. Eli Drake! Oh, and Eli drops the elbow into the chest of EC3 and kicks out. Drake has to stay on top of him. I know he's in charge right now, but Eli Drake still needs to show some sense of urgency. Why not? Keep the heat, keep the fire on EC3. Ooh. That's what Eli Drake is doing right now. Every time I look at Eli Drake, I, I always think about what EC3 said. He's got a dirt beard. Ooh. Somehow I knew you were going there. It's been everyone's focus lately. C3 again connects, another elbow to the jaw of Eli Drake. And now Eli Drake came rushing in and got caught with a side leg sweep from EC3. And EC3 take advantage. And EC3 capitalize. And here comes Eli Drake, wow! What a throw! Yeah, talk about athleticism. Major chance here for Eli Drake and a kick out of two by EC3. Very impressive. Eli Drake just runs and leaps to the top rope and superplexes EC3. Yeah, a tremendous amount of athleticism there by Eli Drake and a testament to EC3. Let me talk to you. Well, you can talk right now. Thanksgiving is upon us. This idiot's getting his keister kicked. And while you're at home, enjoying mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce. And I assume you're passing that gravy, dummy. There's only one man who's got a voice that's a hit around here. Oh, ooh. And that's E. Lie. Dre, and I got to tell you, tonight, the number one contendership is coming with me. Why? Because dummy, yeah, dummy, yeah. When I say dummy, you say yeah. Dummy, yeah. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to me. Dummy, yeah. Which means right now, I'm taking the world title shot. 
And that's not an insult, that. And EC3 counters. CK3. In the center of the six-sided ring. This is what EC3 wants to stop. The non-stop talking from Eli Drake. He's in the middle of a match. Well, you're the one that says we like to hear Eli Drake talk. Yeah, on his talk shows. On his talk show. In fact, of life. That's where I like to hear him talk. Not in competition. We may not have to worry about it much longer. C3 ducks the close line and fires away at Eli Drake. Oh. Eli Drake wasted a tremendous amount of time. Yeah. And EC3 has recuperated. Look at the EC3 splash and he got him. And a big splash job by EC3. Flapjack to Eli Drake. EC3 is fired up right now, and he's looking to put away Eli Drake. He's gonna hang on to his world title opportunity and shut up Eli Drake. Another loaded up one per center and a torture rack. Boom! Turned into a net breaker. Nice. Cover here by Eli Drake. Lady is hooked, and EC3 pops for it, too. Now look at the face of Eli. Now he's showing some concern. If you look in the eyes of Eli Drake, I think he knows exactly what he's doing right now. Eli Drake has EC3 on the ropes. Eli Drake is looking for a future world title opportunity in Blood Force Drama, countered by EC3. Looking for a submission maneuver here, a sleeper hold perhaps. Eli Drake fights free. And Eli Drake take advantage. EC3 gets the boots up. Back and forth they go in this heavyweight collision. And now EC3, he's comfortable up on the top rope. And here comes Eli Drake thrown off. EC3 still in control. What is EC3 about to do? A big time frog splash from EC3 to Eli Drake, who kicks out at two. Perfectly executed, but Eli Drake still had enough wherewithal to kick out. How did Eli Drake kick out of the frog splash? 233 pounds of EC3. Smash misses. Oh, and a quicker does not. Ooh. Nice offense by Eli Drake. Floats into the cover, hooks one leg, Drake finds the other in a kick out. Did you see that cover by Eli Drake? That's the type of covering that needs to be done from this point on if he hopes to have a chance to put away EC3. After wonder what's going through the mind of Eli Drake and EC3 right now. Now Eli's showing a sense of urgency that he should have had all along. Perhaps, I thought he was gonna try to load up Blunt Force Trauma, EC3 counters. EC3 has Eli Drake down now. EC3 is in the corner, he's trying to regroup. Trying to figure out what he can do next. How he can connect with the one percenter and defeat Eli Drake. He has to be aware to watch out for that block force trauma as well from Eli Drake. And now that Drake shots in the center of the ring. EC3 and Eli Drake, who will fade first? Who will seize control? Who will gain the advantage? Big boom there. Again, looking for a TK3. Block force trauma! Eli Drake is going to earn a world title opportunity, and EC3 just kicks out at two. Oh, damn it! Not too often does anyone kick out with blood force trauma, but EC3 just did. See, this is why you have to question why EC3 would accept this match. I get that he wants to shut up Eli Drake, but he's putting up, in my opinion, way more than Eli Drake is. He's putting up an opportunity at the World Championship. It may come back to haunt him. He's not looking too good as EC3 at this moment. It was an opportunity that EC3 worked so hard for. Eli Drake was looking for the one percenter. The signature maneuver of EC3. Two counters in the row by both And now Eli Drake, EC3 lands on his feet, goes low. And EC3 finally connects, finally connects with the one percenter. And EC3, a kick out, a kick out of the one percenter. I said it before by Eli Drake, blood flush trauma, EC3 kicks out. And now the same thing has happened. Drake is kicked out of EC3's best finisher. No one is supposed to kick out of the one percenter. 
the signature maneuver that's put away so many competitors. And EC3 looks livid. EC3 going to plan B. That's a mission maneuver. And Eli Drake looking to counter. Does so. Creates the separation. A second blunt force trauma ducked by EC3. And now the submission maneuver is going to choke out Eli Drake. Eli Drake is going to be forced to tap out. The winner of the match, EC3. EC3 has his world championship opportunity, and he is silenced. Eli Drake once and for all. EC3 conquers yet again. And for Eli Drake, he now must wonder what it will be like to not be able to speak for the rest of the year. Main event time, here we go. Eli Drake set to defend the GMW Global Championship against Matt Seidel. Ladies and gentlemen, the feature contest is for the Global Force Wrestling Global Championship scheduled for one fall. Introducing first the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, Matt Seidel. His arrival drew a tremendous amount of interest. Now, here in Impact, he has climbed his way all the way to the number one contender spot. Matt Seidel, victorious over Lashley, earning his spot here in the main event. His opponent, accompanied to the ring by Chris Adonis from Los Angeles, California. He is the Global Force Wrestling Global Champion, Eli Drake. With the gold on his shoulder, Eli Drake confidently makes his way to the ring with Christopher Adonis. When you look at the defiant one, when you look at the Global Champion and you see Chris Adonis with him, how else would you want your champion to look? If you were starting a wrestling company, you would draw up Eli Drake as your champion. Certainly never lacking confidence, and now I suspect a little bit of arrogance. GFW Global Champion Eli Drake bested out 19 other competitors to win the gauntlet, including competitors like Lashley, Johnny Impact, Low Key, and a competitor who did not participate in that gauntlet, Matt Seidel. Yeah, Matt Seidel likes to say, turn on, tune in, take off. I say, not today. Good luck. It's not going to happen. Matt Seidel's luck ran out when he defeated Lashley at Destination X. Certainly, that defeat brought a lot of bad blood and a lot of conversation amongst Lashley and his MMA training partners in American Top Team. And of course, a loss in the hands of Matt Seidel, who finds himself now tonight competing for the GFW Global Championship. It's our main event here on Impact, and the very first title defense for Eli Drake. And how amazing would it be for Matt Seidel to have back-to-back -back victories over Lashley and Eli Drake, a man who would then certainly call himself champion with good reason. You know, it's not going to happen, JB. I mean, a lot of people wanted Conor McGregor to beat Floyd Mayweather, but they knew in the back of their minds that it wasn't going to happen, that he didn't have what it takes. Seidel doesn't have what it takes to beat Eli Drake. Well, let's watch Drake very carefully. Wondering if his demeanor has changed since capturing that gold. Championships can do crazy things to people. People are ridiculous. They don't deserve a champion like Eli Drake. And of course, second into ringside by Chris Adonis, one of the many great competitors you'll see on Global Force Wrestling's Amp Anthology. It premieres a week from tomorrow on pay-per-view. Great names like Brian Myers, Bobby Roode, Eric Young, Shelton Benjamin, Chris Adonis, and more take center stage. GFW Amp Anthology Part 2. One night only premieres a week from tomorrow on pay-per-view. Impact and GFW were truly going global. The launch 
of the Global Wrestling Network, our expanded OTT offering that'll be available worldwide with free episodes of Impact coming soon. The Impact Wrestling Channel coming to Pluto. We're going everywhere, and it's happening sooner rather than later. Well, whoever wins this matchup, gonna have to face the winner of Johnny Impact and Loki next week. And that is going to be a huge matchup here on Impact. Looking forward to that. Obviously, oh, here's a cover by Seidel. It'll be very interesting. Forever wearing that championship gold around his waist. We'll have to uh, have those bags packed because this champion is gonna be in for a lot of miles. Title defense is set up at Triple A in Mexico City. And that championship will also be being defended in Pro Wrestling Noah in Japan. Whoever is champion will be headed there in the next several months as title defenses are planned. So certainly, truly going to be a global champion. You can see right now Matt Seidel trying to loosen up the hamstrings of Eli Drake. A lot of people said that Matt Seidel got lucky against Lashley. I was one of those people. Well, as was Dan Lambert. Wait a minute, here's a cover by Seidel. American top team thought the same as well and really questioned Lashley's decision to even compete in wrestling at this point. We certainly saw that again in Triple Mania when Lashley was eliminated out of the gauntlet by Moose of all people and Eli Drake just takes Seidel into the corner with brute force. You know, Matt Seidel can make a believer out of a lot of people here, not only in the Impact Zone, but watching all over the world if Seidel can defeat Eli Drake and become global champion. Talk to him now, huh? Well, that, that confidence is still there Ooh. from Eli Drake, no shortage. Oh, oh. Confidence by the champion, here's a cover. Ooh. And not enough to beat Seidel after what we saw with American Top Team and Lashley, and then again at Triple Mania. You wonder if Eli Drake is happy about Lashley kind of taking himself out of the world title situation. Oh, I think he has to be. Eli Drake has to be thrilled that Lashley right now, as Eli floats over here, Lashley is in a, in a, almost in a downward spiral of sorts. It all started when he invited Dan Lambert, an American top team, to Impact, and he's lost a few matches. He went down to Triple Mania, gets eliminated by Moose, so Lashley's gonna pick the pieces. Eli Drake can sort of, you know, rest easy knowing that Lashley's not hot on his tail. Keep an eye on Christopher Adonis outside the ring. Man who has been by the side of Eli Drake through the ascension all the way to the GFW Global Championship. And we saw a bit of teamwork in that gauntlet match between Adonis and Eli Drake. These two have been inseparable and celebrating the success. However, will that success continue? Matt Seidel taking it to the champion. Seidel's got to get going here, got to build momentum. And I think that Johnny Impact becomes number one contender next week. I I'll make that prediction right now. So how much is Impact or Loki having, you know, in the mind right now? Cover by Matt Seidel on the champion, and he gets a two. Of Eli Drake. Well, Eli Drake has to be walking around a little, a little concerned about the fact Jim Cornette already is lining up challengers after challengers after challengers. If he's able to get through Matt Seidel, winner of this match will face Johnny Ooh. Impact or low key next week. And how about Seidel? A little preemptive measure taken out, Christopher Adonis. Yeah, Adonis hooked the ankle a minute ago of Matt Seidel. But check this out. Wow. That's the Global Force champion, Eli Drake. So impressive. Cover. Two and no, not enough to get Seidel. But what a showing this matchup for the World Championship will continue when we return on MPR back on Impact. Main event time, Eli Drake, the GFW Global Champion, defending against Matt Seidel, the man who earned this shot after defeating Bobby Lashley at Destination X. But it has been all Eli Drake throughout the break. Hey, let's go, come on, back in the ring, let's go. Certainly showing no mercy, absolutely relentless. And that's what a champion is gonna need to do in there with opponents like Matt Seidel. And Eli Drake also has the champion's advantage, so he can take his time out here. Eli can't lose his championship via count out or his qualification. Matt Seidel has to win it by pinfall or submission. Wait a minute, that's a chair and a disqualification. It just tells the referee he was just kidding. <laughs> Gotta love Eli Drake. 
He's a bit of a hothead. He grabbed that chair and just didn't think twice about it till the referee reminded him he'd be disqualified. Ooh, that's a hothead. And he can continue to soften up Matt Seidel. Anytime you have Matt Seidel off his feet, you are in control of the high flyer. Adonis on the outside of the ring. Eli Drake, the GFW Global Champion. In there with the number one contender, Matt Seidel. And just like that, Drake turns the tide of the matchup. Huge elbow and a cover. Not enough. One thing we've learned from Matt Seidel, if history is any indication, his previous contest here in Impact, he has shown so much heart. Lashley took this man to the limit. We've seen it several times before. You never want to count out Matt Seidel. And you know that Johnny Impact and Loki both paying close attention to this matchup. Josh, you mentioned it earlier right now. Collector's Corner Shop Impact. 2017 Autograph Knockouts Forces of Nature Bundle. You're going to love this. Extremely limited edition. Signed by each knockout. Eight photos each. We're talking $34.99 at Shop Impact. What a great deal. Some great one-of-a-kinds as well. Go to Shop Impact Collector's Corner before they are gone. Those will sell out. Wow, great reversal by Seidel. Here's a cover. I'm actually selling my autograph right now on my Twitter, at Real Josh Matthews, for $1,100. Oh, big neck breaker by the champion. Quick cover, one, two, and not enough. Eli Drake nearly getting the pin and had the momentum in that. And now just a blatant choke in front of referee Brian Hebner. Well, you think that Eli Drake is getting a little frustrated in this match because so far he's gone after a chair, the chokehold right there, and then that's not a legal move right there in the ropes by the champion. As Adonis on the outside of the ring. Making clear to the referee there will be no outside interference. However, uh, given the opportunity he's shown, he will take every advantage. I mean, why not take these advantages of your Eli Drake? Take advantage of Matt Seidel, take advantage of bending the rules. Seidel with an opportunity here, though. Just like that, Seidel reversed. Mid move by Eli Drake and was sent head first into that corner ring post. That's a momentum changer. Listen to these chops by Seidel. It was like a late game interception by Matt Seidel. Can he take advantage here against the champion with a poke to the eyes? Well, just like that, another shortcut from Eli Drake. He's proving himself to be a personal champion thus far. And cover. Last week, it was an opportunity for either Johnny Impact in the main event or Garza Jr. to get a shot. However, it was Eli Drake and Christopher Adonis victorious. And I liked how Jim Cornette said, now you're not going to get off that easy. This man wants your title. And he's lining up competitors. He's lining up challengers. He wants to make the GFW Global Championship not only a truly recognized global championship by taking it all around the world, but he wants the best man inside that six-sided ring to hold it. Yeah, I got a problem with Jim Cornette. I want to know how he coerced. Matt Seidel into taking a global championship match as opposed to an X Division championship match. Seidel, oh, wait a minute, here's a cover. Seidel is certainly seeing a surge in momentum since coming here to Impact and it's been very successful for him. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to stay with this match until its conclusion. Drake may need a uh, psychologist after this, and the fans of the Impact Zone, they have no respect for Eli Drake. Well, can you blame him the way he treats, the way he talks to them? Oh, look at him. Big elbow that stops Eli Drake in his tracks, and Seidel following up now. No. Think again. 
Again, taking shortcuts, Eli Drake grabs Seidel by the hair. This is where Eli Drake, this is his wheelhouse right now. Slow this thing down, slow this match down with Matt Seidel. Don't let Seidel get going. And both these men in the back of their mind thinking whoever gets the win is gonna have just seven days to prepare for the winner. After next week's matchup between Johnny Impact and Loki and Seidel takes over the champion. That'd be a great problem for Matt Seidel to have because if he wins here tonight, he's global champion. A reminder as well, next week, Impact cameras go to Tijuana, Mexico. LAX versus OVE. You will see that match here on Impact as we continue. Our global force get kicked by Seidel that delivers to the champion. And another follow-up, Seidel so good with his feet. Check this out. You've seen this before. Gotta dig deep. Beautiful standing moonsault cover. No. Boy, so close, and Eli Drake finding out how life is at the top. Look at this, look at Matt Seidel. He's so silky smooth, standing moonsault, but not enough to put away the champion. Crowd on the case of the champion. Who now goes to the second row, but a wow, unbelievable hurricane runner from the second. New champion! Oh. Seidel nearly had Eli Drake, and you have to know, there is no way Eli Drake saw that coming. And ladies and gentlemen, late breaking news from backstage, just given a note by Jim Cornette. The X Division Championship hangs in the balance next week. It's false count anywhere between Trevor Lee and Sanjay Dutt. Wow, great kicks and a great match signed by Jim Cornette next week. Falls count anywhere for the X Division Championship. Sanjay Dutt versus Trevor Lee, and right now, Matt Seidel going to the top. Could this be it? No, Eli Drake, presence of mind to get up and stop that. But we know if Seidel hits that incredible shooting star press, it's over. And two knees to the shoulders, cover, two, no. This is where the champion has to dig deep right now. This is where Matt Seidel can pull off an incredible victory. Eli's gotta play defense. Oh, they're out. Adonis just, just put the GFW Global Championship on the ring apron and now going to the other side to grab a chair. What's he doing? Adonis has called some sort of a play here. Oh, Adonis just threw a chair in the ring. What are you talking about? I can't do that. The red herring. Brian Hebner, no. Turn around. Oh, a knee that connects to the champion. Here we go. No, 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 no. One, two, three. No. Just like that, the plan backfired. And now, Seidel sees this championship in his grasp. Here he goes. If he can hit it, it's over. Adonis. Ooh. Hit with an elbow. Seidel back to the top. Seidel's going to do this. Oh. Not so fast. Eli Drake just clocked Matt Seidel right in the head with that medal championship, and there it is. The gravy train. And that's gonna do it. Eli Drake. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and still Global Force Wrestling Global Champion, Eli Drake. Ah, the gravy train took Matt Seidel right out of contention for this world championship, a victory, his first victory as champion for Eli Drake. And it was a close one here, but in the end, the champ... It is now time for the main event of Bound for Glory, and it is for the Impact Global Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Slamtown, USA, 212 pounds, Johnny Impact. What a year it's been for this man. Johnny Impact, who in the last year can claim 
to be the Triple A World Champion. In fact, three championship titles. Lucha Underground Champion. And tonight, for the first time in his career, will he become the Impact World Champion? And his opponent being accompanied to the ring by Chris Adonis from Los Angeles, California, 231 pounds. He is the Impact Global Champion, Eli Drake. The world champion, Eli Drake, makes his way to the ring along with Christopher Adonis. And make no mistake about it, the top dog has arrived. This is the man. In a very short time, he has come here, turned this company upside down, and became the flag bearer of this organization. After winning a 20-man gauntlet on August 24th, this man became the world champion for the first time in his career. Since that time, he has defended successfully in Mexico. He has defended successfully in Japan. Tonight, at Bound for Glory, can Eli Drake be successful in Canada? At Bound for Glory, in keeping the World Championship. Remember when Eli Drake won the championship in that gauntlet match that you mentioned back in August, he entered at number two. He outlasted everyone else and he left as champion. There's a reason I call Eli Drake the defiant one. He has stood out against those that have come to impact and he wants to be at the top of the mountain as the global champion. It's too cha Jack. I mean, make no mistake about it. Let's not forget how Eli Drake left Johnny Impact this last Thursday. On impact in the championship title on the balance. As Eli Drake and Johnny Impact are about to go at it here. And right away, Eli Drake going for a right hand. And Impact was ready for him. Johnny Impact, you heard it in his interview moments ago, getting emotional. Ooh. Dedicating this championship win to his father. He says he's going to take the belt home. He's going to do it for him. And tonight, Johnny Impact's opportunity of a lifetime is here. That's a major chance for Johnny Impact at Bound for Glory in the main event to defeat Eli Drake. And oh. right over the top rope, Eli Drake is just so cunning in his offense. Impact. Methodical, but Impact was well prepared oh. for that. Yeah, landed on his feet, the master of parkour, Johnny Impact to look for starship pain. Eli Drake will look for the gravy train. And follows through on the elbow, takes down the champ Eli Drake and Johnny Impact feeling the confidence. And remember, this offense he has, he can hit you from anywhere. On the outside of the ring, Eli Drake. Nice. Wow. You're going to see offensive moves from Johnny Impact that you have seen nowhere else. He's so hard to prepare for because of his unique style. He's so different from everyone. And tonight, the question is, will this different style be enough to overcome Eli Drake? And right on the outside of the ring, you see Christopher Adonis jaw jacking with the number one contender, Johnny Impact. Make no mistake about it. Impact and Adonis have been relentless in their offense against Johnny Impact. They know what kind of a threat he is. Yeah, and Impact needs to stay focused on Eli Drake. He can't get caught up in the shenanigans of Chris Adonis on the outside. Eli Drake put the boots to Johnny Impact here. May have had a bound for glory championship on the line. And with Eli Drake in full control in this matchup, so far, what we've seen. A lot of back and forth between these two. Who's going to emerge with the momentum? We're about to find out his impact now to his feet. Yeah, Johnny Impact starting to feel it here, starting to get it going against Eli Drake. 
At a right, right across the chest. Big elbow followed up by the challenger. And what an incredible year, as I mentioned before. Ooh. It's been for Johnny Impact, both here. Ooh. Nice. Wow, what a move. That yeah, sliding German suplex. And this championship, this is the one championship Johnny Impact has. Well, this championship's eluded him his entire career. And he knows that tonight is his opportunity. All these shots here from Impact, these are going to pay dividends as this match goes on. This is the first real test for Eli Drake since he became global champion. Well, obviously, the matchups we've seen in Mexico and Japan, Eli Drake really handled those opponents very handedly. Ooh. I mean, it was quite. Uh, Quite impressive oh, in his wins, and right away on the outside, of course. Christopher Adonis, would you expect anything less? Well, speaking of paying dividends. Adonis on the outside of the ring. This has been the right-hand man, the henchman of Adonis. And I, a lot of people say, would Eli Drake be champion without Christopher Adonis? He certainly has had a hand in it. I think he'd be champion. I don't know. I think he would have won the championship. I just don't know how long he would remain the champion. It's such a great insurance policy for Eli Drake to have Chris Adonis out there and drops the elbow. Right across the chest of the number one contender, Johnny Impact. And Eli Drake, who certainly never is shy in dis well, really discussing his dislike of the fans. <laughs> Anywhere and everywhere he goes, he does not care. Doesn't matter. Ooh. Out of that rail at ringside. Look out, folks. Eli Drake. And Johnny Impact out on the floor. Now, I asked Johnny Impact earlier today if he's 100% after what happened on Impact and the gravy train on the exposed ring, the wood, and Impact said that he won the world. Johnny Impact just slid underneath that protective rail, comes out on top, delivers a right hand to Eli Drake. Look out. Running start, Impact over that rail, wow. takes down the champion. Well, Impact is a magician. Went underneath the guardrail, popped up the other side, and takes out the global champion. I've never seen that before. Fans, we just received word after what happened earlier tonight. Eddie Edwards has asked for a match with Phantasma for the GHC Championship this Thursday on Impact. And after what happened earlier tonight, that's going to be an incredible matchup. No doubt about it. Eli wow. Drake with a neck breaker on the outside of the ring that floors Johnny Impact. And that'll set up the gravy train nicely for Eli Drake. And again, as this match is on the outside, Chris Adonis can do what he wants with impact. Right now, just stepping right across the throat of the number one contender, Johnny Impact. Eli Drake just so methodical in his offense and delivering it. Here's. Face first right to the mat. Let's see, Eli rolls in, breaks the count of the official, and then goes right back out to the outside of the ring. Champion's advantage. Eli Drake has it. Face first right across. Those metal stairs, and Eli Drake relentless in his offense. We saw it Thursday on impact. Eli Drake, wait there a minute. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. That hurts. Let's not forget, Thursday night, Eli Drake gave Johnny Impact the gravy train right on that exposed mat, showing what he's really capable of in terms of delivering the offense tonight. Can Eli Drake capitalize on that momentum coming out of Thursday? So far, Johnny Impact taking it to the champ. Well, Johnny Impact did the right thing. He got this match back in the ring. Not so fast. Power bomb, power slam, rather, and a cover. Not enough. 
Crowd getting on Adonis says Eli Drake. Following up on the offense. Eli is really taking his time in this match. He looks very composed. Ooh. There's a leg drop. And there's that confidence. Once Eli Drake is in control, look out. Here's a cover. Yeah, real close to the ropes there. And that's one thing that we've seen, and it started. We saw it the first time in that gauntlet where he won the championship. Once he gets that momentum, he's able to capitalize, and just like that, impact. Slingshot into the middle rope and hard landing on the floor as a result. See, again, Eli as the champion, he can take his time. He can win this match by count out. He certainly could, and that would mean retaining that championship. Well. Meanwhile, the outside of the ring, Adonis is at it again, and the referee is still not seeing it. Now you got Eli Drake calling the play, drawing the attention of the official. Chris Adonis comes in from behind. And look out on the floor now. Eli Drake has impact up. Mm. Oof. Mm. Right between the legs, Ooh. risking disqualification. And he'd be okay with that too. But this is more than just about dealing out some offense. This is so much more personal to Eli Drake after what has happened. Ooh. And Impact trying his best to fight off Eli Drake. Nice. Right into the ring post, Eli Drake sent Face first. So difficult to do. Impact was fighting from underneath. Ooh, Ow. That's going to hurt. Boy, that chin just wrapped around that metal post, and that could take out the offense of Arsenal. Those legs, those kicks, such a big part of Johnny Impact's offense. Now what? Slingshot. Possibility. Eli Drake. Oh! Just swung him like a battering ram. Wow, that was vicious. On the outside of the ring now, Drake in control, throws the challenger back in. Eli Drake, the cocky, confident world champion now, to the second rope. This is a precarious situation for both champion and challenger. Both men up now. On the middle rope, Eli Drake over the oh. top. Goes for a sunset flip. Johnny Impact hangs on. Executes a backflip, lands on his feet, and now Eli Drake nice. with a beautiful standing moots up from the top, and no. What an exchange. You got Impact doing backflips, landing on his feet. Eli with the elbow. I tell you what, Eli Drake giving Johnny Impact a little dose of his own medicine here tonight at Bound for Glory. Reaching into that. Bag of trips, a little high offensive arsenal from, wait a minute, there's Ooh. impact reverses, drapes Drake across the top rope. Counter for counter. Back and forth action, Eli Drake now. Looks to be going to the top rope as well. What's he have in store? Great camera shot. What is Impact going to do from here? Impact has the champion up. Eli's got to hang on. Fire those elbows away. Oh, look out. Eli Drake up on the shoulders of Johnny Impact. Oh, wow. How does he do it? Cover. New, New champion. champion. Here we go. No. It's not only the offense of Johnny Impact, it's how he follows up with it. Incredible move followed up by, look at this. Yeah, he Case creates point. offense from defense. He certainly does. Standing, shooting star. Not enough. Johnny Impact stringing together a series of offensive moves, one more impressive after the other. 
but still not enough to defeat Eli Drake. This might be, though. Now Impact's taking it to high levels. Now Impact knows. Countdown to Impact. Three, two, one. And there's the Impact elbow, but Drake had it scouted. Drop kick. Eli Drake able to get out of the way of what usually spells the end of any opponent, courtesy of Johnny Impact. That countdown to Impact has been so effective. Now from the outside Whoop. of the ring, through the legs goes Eli Drake, or rather through the legs goes Johnny Impact. <laughs> it's tough to keep up with. So fast, <laughs> obviously Johnny Impact is one of those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. From the mat to the top rope, back down to the mat. Eli Drake nearly gets the three. Johnny Impact was right there, right on the top rope, looking to put away Eli Drake. Adonis pops up, gets his attention, and Eli Drake is still champion right now. Uh, this is just interesting. Eli Drake is really taking a page out of Johnny Impact's offensive playbook. We are seeing offensive moves from Eli Drake. Oof. Fighting that offensive arsenal with a little high impact offensive arsenal of his own. Eli Drake in control with some right hands across the head of Johnny Impact. Eli firing away now on the challenger. Eli Drake growing more, more frustrated. Wait a minute now, back up into the corner. <coughs> what a right. It'll be the third time that these two have been on the top rope together. It's never really worked out for the person who puts the other guy up there. Will it work out now? Look at this. Eli Drake, Johnny Impact from the top. Wow! Spanish fly connects. That could do it. One, two. Not enough. We were that close to having a new champion in Johnny Impact. From the top rope, Johnny Impact delivered. Wait a minute. Uh. Adonis throws the belt to Eli Drake. Look at this Spanish fly. Nearly enough to get the pin. Meanwhile. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a kick that takes out Adonis. Finally. And the champ has the championship title belt, but misses. Johnny Impact didn't miss that time. And Johnny whoa, whoa, whoa. Impact but, but, needs to think about this. Yeah, Johnny Impact can't use the championship. Well, he can take out Chris Adonis. He certainly can, and that's putting it to good use. No question about it. Impact now. Setting up the champion. Impact climbing his way to the top. Here we go. From the top rope. Johnny Impact. Got him. Delivers an elbow. New champ, come on. Cover. So close. Boy, Impact has just given his all. Has thrown everything he has at Eli Drake, but the resilient champion continues to okay. resist and fight out of those three counts just in the nick of time. And Chris Adonis was neutralized with the championship. That was the opening and the opportunity for Johnny Impact. Wait a minute, Gravy Train, could this be it? Gravy Train on, no! Nice counter. Drake kicks out at two and, whoa! Right across the face, shining wizard courtesy of Johnny Impact. And Impact sizing up the Ooh. champ. Slight hesitation. And the champ goes outside of the ring. Has the challenger in the corner. What are we going to see here? Fourth time now. Eli Drake looks to be going for a suplex. They're teetering up on the middle rope right now. Ooh. Eli Drake takes face first. Johnny Impact now. Kicks Eli Drake back into the ring. Here we go. Could this be from the number one contender? Starship Payne. Got him. Connects. Go for the cover. One, 
No, 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 no. The referee. Wait oh, a minute. That's come a... on. Where did he come from? Jumped over the guardrail and ruined the championship match. Alberto El Patron, who we have not seen in quite some time, just takes it upon himself to pull the referee out when it looked as though Johnny Impact had the win. Johnny Impact should be celebrating as global champion right now, and he knows it. Wait a minute. The referee just got it from Johnny Impact. He was going for Patron, and Patron got out of the way. Oh, boy. Oh, come on now. Alberto oh. El Poo, good Lord. Patron promised to disrupt this pay-per-view, and he's doing just that. Alberto El Patron said he would make an impact here tonight. Wow. That certainly qualifies. That championship title bout, that... That is, oh no, Ooh. come on. Right across the face. He's not taking any sides in this matchup. It's the only side this man is taking, make no mistake about it, is his own side. And he's taking a championship match away from our fans. Alberto El Patron, who made it known that this man believes he should still be world champion. Come on, Ooh, come wow. on. Absolutely ridiculous. No remorse. Absolutely no remorse. And he's what, he's mad because somebody didn't call him or text him? What, what is he doing? He just draped Eli Drake across the carcass of Johnny Impact and that's gonna do it. Here is your winner, and still the Impact Global Champion, E. Y. Drake. An assist by Alberto El Patron, but make no mistake about it, this man did not care about Eli Drake. This man did not care about Johnny Impact. This man only cares for himself. Unbelievable. Alberto El Patron is back. Petey Williams is a two-time X Division champion. However, he hasn't held a title in nearly 10 years. Petey is being treated like a Canadian national treasure and maybe here tonight in the capital of Canada, Petey can shock the world. Fellow Canadians, George Rush St. Pierre did it at UFC 217. Gail Kim won at Bound for Glory. Can Petey Williams win tonight and become global champion? the global champion. Eli Drake became champion after Alberto El Patron was suspended and stripped of the title. Eli Drake entered a 20-man gauntlet at number two, outlasted 19 others. 40 minutes later, he was global champion. He retained the title at Bound for Glory in controversial fashion by defeating Johnny Impact. He was challenged last week by Petey Williams, and we have our main event. Big fight feel in Ottawa as Eli Drake defends his championship tonight against Petey Williams. We send it to the ring to JB for in-ring introductions.
Ship of the World. Introducing first the combatants. Standing in the corner to my right, he weighed in this morning at 219 pounds and comes to us from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he is the challenger, the Canadian Destroyer, Petey Williams. <laughs> and now, introducing, standing in the corner to my left, he weighed in this morning at 235 pounds and comes to us from the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. He is the current reigning, defending Impact Global Heavyweight Champion, Eli Drake. No one in the history of Impact has kicked out of the Canadian Destroyer from P.D. Williams. If he connects, he will become global champion. Jimmy Jacobs, you've joined me. Make a prediction who wins and who leaves with the gold. I don't want to sound like a politician here, but let me just set this up. P.D. Williams, he's got the Canadian Destroyer. It's one big weapon. It's got its pros, it's got its cons. The pros is nobody's ever kicked out of it. It's a huge move. If he hits that, it's over. The con is Eli Drake and everybody in the world knows that's what Petey's gonna go for. Wait a minute, when did, hello. Hey, the band's back together. What? <laughs> what did you get here? <laughs> While you were in the ring, chatting with other people. All Not right, uh, here we go. Impact Championship main event here tonight. It's Eli Drake and Petey Williams. And an unexpected uh, guest here joining us tonight for our main event on commentary, Jimmy Jacobs. Josh Matthews and JP here with the ringside main event tonight. Petey Williams going for the Canadian Destroyer right out of the gate. That may have been a scare tactic, if nothing else, for Eli Drake. Well, it's the weapon he's going to try to use to win the match. Like he's won so many other matches, but Eli knows it's coming. He slid right out of there. You know, we went over to Mumbai, India, and Sanjay Dutt became X Division champion for the first time in his career. Can Petey Williams do the same in his home country? What a coup it would be for the Canadian Destroyer. I'll tell you what, though. A shoe-in for the 2017 Comeback Story of the Year. Petey Williams returns to Impact Wrestling and better than ever. I thought you were going to say Jimmy Jacobs. And Eli Drake goes to work on the native of Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Just a few hours from here. Home of our partners in Border, Border City Wrestling. Yeah, he's from a few hours from here, but this might as well be his home tonight with the feel, the atmosphere in the air right now. No question about that. Eli Drake draped across the top. A tough predicament for Ooh. the champion. Now hanging upside down in a little national anthem. See, when you see that from Petey Williams, you have to know that he's cool, calm, and collected. He's ready for this match tonight. Nice single leg. One thing we can say about Petey Williams, never has really shown any signs of fear backing down from anyone. Of course, assume the uh, moniker of uh, Little Petey Pump for a while, courtesy of Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner. And I'll tell you what, interesting to see how far he's come Ooh. since those early days all the way to a shot at the championship tonight and a cover, no, not enough. And these first few minutes have been almost all PD. No question about it, our main event tonight for the world championship will continue when we return on Impact. Back on Impact, it's JP Jeremy Barash along with Jimmy Jacobs and Josh Matthews. It's the Ooh. World Heavyweight Championship title match here from Ottawa. Ooh. Eli Drake doing a number on the challenger, Petey Williams. Yeah, Jimmy, you made a great point. Oh. Cover. Jimmy, you made a great point during the break about Petey being able to stick and move against the global champion. Yeah, but he just got stuck with two moves in a row there. And now for the first time, Eli Drake's really on top of Petey. And uh, this is... There you go. There you go. There's Chris Adonis paying dividends. Case in point, this man has been such an asset to the success of Eli Drake. 
because success in the ring isn't just about what happens in the ring. It's a whole it's a whole game of chess, and there's different factors, and Chris Adonis has been a major factor for Eli Drake. Well, Eli Drake has to be happy with the, Ooh. just the sheer loyalty shown by Christopher Adonis over the course of this championship title reign. But Eli Drake also must be very pleased at the fact that Eli Drake now has a oh, cover now. Has a night where he can compete, where Johnny Impact and Alberto El Patron have both been banned from the arena. Takes the pressure off of the global champion, right? He can focus on the task at hand, that being Petey Williams. Well, when you have a challenger like Petey Williams, you need all Ooh. the attention you can have and muster to keep that championship around your waist. Eli Drake elbow cover now. You know, I've known Petey Williams for almost half my life, barely 15 years. And I talked to him this week, and he said, this is the biggest match of his career. And when you go into a match with that sort of mindset, it puts him in a different league. It puts him in a different category mentally and physically. Jimmy, I appreciate your insight, but now what do you talking to our talent? What are you doing? I mean, I, dude, you still I, haven't I, answered the question. What are you doing here? I've got a lot of friends in a lot of places. Oh, we've seen that. What have you thought about the reign of Eli Drake as global champion? Uh, Eli Drake has a star quality that I admire. That's what I think about Eli Drake. You know, you look at Eli Drake, and he, he wants to be a movie star. He calls himself the defiant one. He is the global champion. He goes against the grain, sort of like yourself, Jimmy. Well, right now, Petey Williams is finally mounting a bit of a comeback. He will not stay down. Ooh. Great power Spoke slam. Soon. Cover! And you saw the offense. Eli Drake really taking things to a new level. We saw this at Bound for Glory, too. Pulling off some innovative, high-flying offense, and I think that's a direct result of Johnny Impact him at the scene and changing the game as far as the offense and counts right along with the referee as he blatantly chokes Petey Williams. Eli's got a lot of sizzle, but he's got the stake, too. Petey could become the Canadian Rocky here tonight if he can somehow become champion. Once again, Adonis on the outside of the ring. He's got to be aware. Petey has to be aware of his ring presence. He can't keep going towards the ropes. Chris Adonis is right there every time. Certainly what we've seen from the Canadian Destroyer since his return here in 2017. Obviously dominating the match at Bound for Glory. What a response he received. And what an opportunity was born from that in tonight's matchup, our main event here on Impact. Imagine if Petey Williams could become champion here tonight. This place will come unglued. And the champ takes down the challenger once again. Eli Drake just so confident in the corner. now able to back it up in the corner. Fans want to remind you as well, next week a very special Thanksgiving edition of Impact. Check out impactwrestling.com for more information on that, but we are going to look back at some of the great matchups and of course a very special match headlining next week's show. More on that in just a moment. But uh, Nice. Side rush and leg sweep by the challenger. Rolls Eli Drake over and nearly gets the pin. That's where Petey Williams has to find that next level. Oh! Cover again. Not enough. Petey Williams has been very persistent in trying to get the pins. Every opportunity he can, and that's what it's going to take. Crowd solidly behind the Canadian Destroyer. Competing tonight. And he's calling for it. Eli plays defense. Oh, wow, look at the elevation, it. that could do it. Cover, no, not enough. Petey's digging deep down. I've been in these sort of situations before when everything is on the line. You've got to dig deep, man. Global champion perhaps getting a little frustrated. So you've been in these situations before? Ab absolutely, man. I've been, in, I've been there in my hometown, in front of my parents wrestling for championships. Oh. Williams taken out. 
Right again in front of Christopher Adonis on the outside. Katie Williams now from the outside to the inside. Knees right across the chest to the champion. Yeah, a little code breaker. And a German suplex that sends the champ to the center of the ring. A knee followed up and now Petey Williams wants to hook that Canadian destroyer on the champion. Eli is in survival mode right now. Oh. We've seen that before from the champ. So effective cover on Petey. No, not enough. That Canadian destroyer is going to be hard for Petey to hit. Eli's looking for it, and it looks like he's got a lot of counters for it. Obviously, the champion has done his homework. And say what you want about Eli Drake, whether it be here in Canada, Japan, Mexico, he has traveled the world in a very short time and put his name on the stamp of the passport around the world as the champ. And been so effective in doing so. Look out, Petey Williams now. From the top of Springboard and misses. That sets it up. Petey Williams now, Canadian destroyer. No. And a sharpshooter. Got him locked up. Sharpshooter applied to the champion. Sharpshooter applied to Eli Drake. And Petey is sitting back hard. Eli's lower back is in pain, no doubt, right now. The championship is slipping away from Eli Drake. Applying the pressure as the champ inches his body closer and closer. And nice. Petey blocks it. Petey blocks his attempt at grabbing the rope. Eli fighting free and he got the bottom rope. The champion just hanging on a matter of inches. And Petey Williams knows that sharpshooter, part of the repertoire, but the Canadian destroyer is what he's focused on. A blocked suplex, second attempt by Petey Williams. Smart to go after the back, though. Ooh. The champion, Eli Drake, puts Petey Williams on the second rope now from the top. Here we go. Planted him. Great DDT. That could do it. Oh! Now goes to the outside. Takes out Adonis. That's a high risk move. This could pay it off right now. Now I gotta pick you back in the ring. Petey Williams now feels the momentum. Could this be it? Oh no, wait a minute. The champion catches Petey Williams. Looking to go for the gravy train. Locked in, here we go. Cut No one's ever kicked out. Here we go. The champ. Come on. That's the first time ever on Impact that somebody's kicked out of a Petey Williams Canadian destroyer, ever. Let's take a look at it again. Petey Jimmy, Williams. You talked about it. He was looking for this the entire match. Finally pops it off. And Eli Drake defies the odds and kicks out. I've been in this situation before. And if you're Petey Williams, you don't know what else to do. You need this to follow it. up. That's what you need to do. And he's going to do just that. One more time. Petey Williams, no. Breaks. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Right down on the head. And Petey kicks out. How did he do it? These two have gone back and forth. Petey Williams just dropped on his head. And Eli Drake to his feet. For Petey Williams, championship matches don't happen every week. And all right, the champion still stunned, I'm sure, from that Canadian destroyer. Goes to the gravy train, rolled up now, and no! How close was that? Oh! Petey Williams. Now, one more time. Got it. No. Gravy train down on Petey Williams. And the champion retains. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner. And still, Impact Wrestling Global Champion. Once again, the 
champ, Eli Drake proves how resilient he can be in high pressure matches. And once again, retains the Impact World Championship. There it is. Yeah, Jimmy, I want you to help me with these replays here as we take a look because Petey Williams kept going for the Canadian Destroyer. Eli had a counter for it. He got hit with it once, and Eli survived. It's the one thing he knows he can beat people with, and when Eli kicked out, that had to crush his spirit, crush his soul, and really, that's that's the sort of thing that'll lose your match. But uh, interesting, very interesting, boys. I'm glad I came out here. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a Monsters Ball match. First, making his way to the ring area from Los Angeles, California, Eli Drake. Eli Drake has been on a quest to rid professional wrestling of a hardcore style. It brought out the likes of Tommy Dreamer. It brought out Raven, Don, Athletes, men that you've known for decades who wear that hardcore style like a badge of honor. And Eli Drake wants to erase that from the annals of time in pro wrestling. And his opponent, weighing at 350 plus pounds, he is the monster of men. This crowd is electric for the return of the monster, Josh, to the uh, insane asylum that is Nashville, Tennessee. The Impact Wrestling Hall of Famer, who was born here in this asylum. Don, you guys ran together in the early 2000s. What's it like to be in the ring next to the monster? Terrifying. Well, as Abyss sends things into the ring, Eli Drake is going to think about what he can use. Look into the eyes of the monster. Look at the size of this man. About 360 pounds, six foot six. And Eli Drake from behind. Eli Drake used that staple gun to get the jump on the monster. Eli Drake said he'd use the gravy train in the first minute. We'll see if he's setting the big man up. This is Monster's Ball. It is the specialty match of Abyss. You want to talk about hardcore wrestling? Look no further than Abyss. He's a living legend originally uh, recently put into the Impact Wrestling Hall of Fame. And a more well-deserved candidate you will not find. Such a special building for Abyss. Here in the asylum, you saw Eli Drake standing. Oh! Oh! The whole ring moved when Abyss hit the corner. Right in front of where Abyss was born. All those years ago. Staple gun! He's still going. Each and every one of those scars on the arms of Abyss tell a story of hardcore wrestling. Well scouted by Eli. Eli may have some scars at the end of this one, right? Sunset flip. Yeah, I don't know that that's a good move in this match. Abyss. Oh! Whoa! Stop his chest! Ouch! Abyss just put a staple into the chest of Eli Drake. I think Eli tried to pull it out. He might have got it out. Oh! oh. Again, Monsters Ball. Anything goes. It's all legal. And to the surprise of no one, this Monsters Ball match so far has been all the Monster Abyss. You think about all the Monsters Ball matches that Abyss has had in his career, the damage that he's done, the careers that he's shortened, his own career that he's most likely shortened. He's brutalized his own body. He's destroyed other people. He's left a wake of carnage behind him. Strategically setting up those tables where there's no padding on the entryway. You never know what's going through the mind of the monster. Oh! Chokeslam coming. 
like trying to fight free, trying to do anything he can. Rake of the face. And Eli. Sent out into the crowd. Great sidestep there by the monster. They're separating the fans. Oh, and a low blow. That's one way to stop the monster. It doesn't matter how much of a monster you are, how big you are, you kick someone in the groin, you're gonna drop them. And what does Eli Drake have in store here? Production case yeah, probably weighs about 200 pounds. This ref better be careful. Eli is motivated tonight. Oh! In the midsection, that'll break your ribs. Eli took his attention off of Abyss momentarily. You know, Don, while we have a second, while these two are looking to do more damage, what's your take on Eli's quest to rid the world of hardcore wrestling? I might have some similar opinions about that, but I think there's a better way in terms of your own self-preservation, your own career, than getting into a monster's ball match with a man who created it. Do you believe that Eli is the last of a dying breed? Well, I, I think that might be a bit of a stretch. Eli says a lot of things for effect, but that I think he actually believes. Eli Drake's a former world champion. He would love to get back in the championship picture. Victory over Abyss and Monster's Ball would certainly help Eli's case. Suckered it in. Oh! Abyss still on his feet. Three garbage can shots off the skull, and the Monster's down to his knees. Got him caught in the ropes. Kind of rocking back and forth. Oh, Eli's talking trash now. Oh, yeah, he's got him where he wants it. Building up speed and momentum. Oh, my! Oh, overhead, belly to belly through the tables, over the top rope, and Eli might be dead. Drake's body cleared the first table. He crashed through the second table. And Eli is still down. One more look at this. Eli thought he had Abyss dead to rights. Ow! Oh. And now the monster can go to work. Yeah, it had been all Eli Drake there for about five minutes. Thought he had Abyss set up, and for those who don't think Abyss is good at strategy, he suckered Eli in and may have finished him off. Well, in Monster's Ball, despite all the punishment that he takes, would you, well? I say the longer it goes, the more it benefits the monster. I'll give you three guesses what's in that bag, Josh, and the first two don't count. I think I only need one. We're gonna see some razor sharp Abyss specialty, thousands and thousands. He plans on putting Eli Drake's body into those thumbtacks. Black hole slam coming. Got him. Tight grip. Eli fighting free. He's picking him up. He's trying to get them out of the ring here. Oh, he threw. Oh, he hit the ref in the face. The ref took the tags in the eye. What the hell is Eli Drake thinking? A fist ducking out of the way. Eli got caught. Black hole slam. But the referee the ref is can't see. He can't see. Come on! I mean, let's check on this.
this kid, but let's get another ref out here. That kid took a tack to the eye. Multiple tacks. That'll scratch a cornea, that'll do damage. Abyss had the match won. But no official. Eli goes up and over, Abyss goes into the steel chair. Both men down, referee blind. And Eli oh. Drake! Looks like it's the left eye of the ref. And the referee, he's back into the match as much as he can be. Credit to this young man. Abyss rolling out to the floor. I'm guessing to find some more plunder. Eli's got the steel chair inside the ring, bruised all over his body. Yeah, he's welted up. The toothless, demented smile of the monster as he grabs Janice with the intent of splitting Eli in half, no doubt. Eli Drake looks like he's seen a ghost. Janice in the hands of Abyss. And Eli, why not? The most dangerous weapon ever thought of. And oh! Drake 
says that he's the last of a dying breed. Wants to put an end to hardcore wrestling. I believe that may start and end with the Monster Abyss, who was born in this very building. Look at the back of Eli Drake. Was it worth it tonight for Eli at homecoming?